Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Arc. Today we've got another tutorial for you. One of the things that I get asked a lot is how do I install mods in Beam NG? And I'm going to show you a few ways that you can install mods. The first way is from the main menu, go to repository. And in the repository, that is the official online place to get BeamNG Drive mods. So you can look through here, and these are the most current ones, it looks like. <laughs> um, but you can also go over here on the right-hand side, and you can search. So, for example, if I was looking for a uh, convertible, then I can tell it to search. And it's going to go out and it's going to find whatever convertibles are available. So just for the sake of argument, we will grab the blue buck convertible. And to do that, all you have to do is hit plus. Once you hit plus, that will start to download the mod to your computer. And it will now be in the mods manager, which is up to the left hand side here. And so now you see there is the blue buck convertible. Once you've got this downloaded, then I can go back, I can go into free roam, and uh, we will just pull up the simple grid just to show you here that it did in fact grab the blue buck convertible. So once we get in here, you see this is my default car. I can go to vehicles and blue buck, and in the blue buck, I've got the convertible mods. One way that you can tell a vehicle is a mod is because it does not have the BeamNG logo. See how these do not have the logo and these ones do? These are the mods. Not to mention the fact that it's a convertible and, well, we know that's a mod. So well, here's, here's a four-door convertible just to show you what it looks like in the game. There it is. So now we have a blue buck convertible in the game so that is one way that you can install mods and honestly that is the easiest way to install mods again from the main menu go to the repository in the repository you can search notice it still says convertible so i can delete that it'll go back and show you the mods that are currently featured and you can search for whatever you're looking for so let's talk about a different way that you can install mods. All right, the next way that you can install mods is by going to beamng.com slash resources. And that is the official repository. These are the exact same mods here that you would find over in the repository in the game. But some people prefer to look through the list this way and grab the mods here. So just for the sake of argument, uh, we'll grab this soda skin. Uh, what you do is click on the mod that you want to look at. You can read about it. Notice over on the right hand side, uh, I can subscribe, which will actually launch the game and download it through the in-game repository feature, or I can download the mod. So if I download the mod, then it is going to save it wherever I tell it to save it. In my case, I'm going to just go ahead and save it to downloads. Now, once I get it saved in my downloads folder, I'm going to right click on that. And for me, this is the way I like to do it. I'm going to copy that mod. And then I'm going to go to my BeamNG Drive user folder. Now, if I don't know where my user folder is, there's an easy way to get to it. Go down to Steam and launch the game. From there, you can manage the user folder and you can tell it to open in Explorer. At that point, you are inside your user folder. You'll notice that you have a mods folder in here. Double click on mods. I can right click and paste the mod. You'll notice that now I have soda.zip in my mods folder. When I launch BeamNG, then I can go back into a map or whatever I want to do, pull up that vehicle. So in this case, uh, it was a mod for the Miramar. And so what I can do is I can go in here to the Miramar and 
You'll notice that the it does not show up in the Miramar list. That's because it is a skin. So all I'm going to do is simply spawn in a Miramar. And then I can go to Vehicle Config. And it should be under Paint Design. And now you see Soda. And there is the Soda paint job for the Miramar. So that's another way that you can install mods in BeamNG. Go out to the repository online, download the file, wherever you save it, copy that into your mods folder, and then it should show up uh, as an option in your mods. We're not done yet. Got a couple more places, a couple, a couple of other ways you can install mods. Let's take a look at that. All right, so one of the other places you can get mods are in the forums. Now, the difference between forums and mods is that in the forums, these are not available through the repository. Essentially, the forums are considered, quote, unofficial mods. They might be works in progress, or they may contain uh, certain information or certain uh, design elements that the devs won't allow in the, quote, official repository. So... Uh, you can find things here in the forum. So, for example, if I look under vehicles and we go to land vehicles and we scroll down here. Okay, here's a DeLorean, right? So, you can, any, any one of these is a topic heading, generally with the name of the mod, but not always. It gets a little weird because it is a forum. But I'm going to go to my DeLorean post here. Not my post, <laughs> this post. <laughs> um, it's from Lucas B.E. Uh, so you can see here, here's a post about the DeLorean. Uh, you'll see that there are all kinds of comments, but you notice at the bottom of the initial post, before you get to any comments, there is an attached zip file. Now, this varies widely with mods that are in the forum. Sometimes the zip file is located in that post. Sometimes there's a link to a mod that's in maybe a Google Drive or a OneDrive or from the mega.nz. It, it could be from different places. So you want to just kind of watch where the link is. In this case, though, this one happens to be a zip file. So the easiest way to handle this is to right click on that and tell it to save the link as. So when that comes up, once again, I'm in my downloads, I can hit save and it will save the DeLorean to my downloads. Okay, as before when it's downloaded, then I can click on the up arrow here. I can tell it to show in the folder. There is the DMC, right click and copy. Then I'm gonna go to my BeamNG Drive user folder. Once again, I can go to BeamNG on Steam, Manage User Folder, Open in Explorer, Double Click Mods, Right Click in a Space, and Paste in that mod. And now you see there is the DMC. So I'm going to cancel this in BeamNG Drive, launch the game. And now when I go to my vehicles, I should be able to see the DeLorean as an option. You notice we've got several to choose from here. Painted DeLorean. Wow. Yeah, well, why not? All right. So you can click on that. I'm going to replace my car. And now when it pops in here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the DeLorean. So there you go. So that's another way to get mods into the game is by going to the forum and downloading the mod that you would like to try out. Now, I've been doing vehicle mods. If you were to download scenarios uh, or anything like that, then when you put them into your mods folder, let's say you download a scenario, then you would go to scenarios, and in there you would see the scenarios that you downloaded. For example, Roadblock Run is a mod. Trailer Rivals is a mod. Uh, anything, once again, if it does not have... A BeamNG logo that means that it is a mod or something weird is going on because like I've got duplicates here so obviously something's weird going on there but anyhow uh, for the most part uh, if it does not have the logo then it's a mod okay another way that you can get mods for BeamNG is to use a third-party website such as Too Fast Racing which has a whole bunch of mods for BeamNG in this particular case I can jump over to the repository uh, you will have to make an account before you can download so make sure you 
get an account, sign in, all that good stuff. Then you can look through their list of vehicles and choose one that you would like to download. So, for example, if I wanted to come over here and grab the Dodge Viper, you'll notice that when I get to this page, there's a download button over on the right-hand side. I can click on download and it immediately pops up to my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and save that. All right, once it's downloaded, I can show it in the folder. You'll see it's highlighted. Once again, I can right click and copy that. And then I can dump that into my mods folder. I've already had the folders open, so I'm just skipping along here. And then we can jump into Beam and G. Once we are in Beam and G, I should be able to find the Viper in here somewhere. There it is. SRT Viper. Look at that. <laughs> this, this is bringing back some memories for this old man. All right, here we go. So I'm going to replace the current. And it'll take it a moment. And boom, we have a Dodge Viper in the game. Oh, that is awesome. Yahoo! So there are multiple ways that you can download and install mods in Beam NG Drive. Now, I am going to give you a, a word of warning. There are some sites out there uh, that provide mods. However, the sites uh, have uh, either the site itself is infected with viruses or the mods that you download from those sites could be infected with mo uh, a virus. So you definitely want to be careful when you're downloading mods from third-party sites. Also, a lot of times when you download a mod that is not from BeamNG.com, then that mod may not be configured correctly so that what happens is when you put it into your mods folder, it does not show up and the mod will not run. And in that case, there are a couple of things you can do. Um, but one of those might be you have to you may have to play around with the mod folder itself, or you might have to mess around with the zip itself. I'm not getting into all of that in this particular video. I just wanted to be able to show you how you can download and install mods easily in Beam ng drive hope this helps got any questions problems suggestions horror stories feel free to leave those down in the comment section below special thanks to hero of god gamer gall los wilco connie c and zachary for supporting me on patreon and through channel memberships i appreciate it guys so so much thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video hope it helps out i'm david in arc we'll see you next time have a great day Wow. But you got your flashers on. Well, there you go.